I decided that I wanted to explain what made me start hiking, camping, and potentially starting backpacking. I decided I needed to get out the house today, but um, not going anywhere where I'm gonna be hiking, just a local park around my way. Cause hiking has really improved my health. And um, like today I'm out, I'm not hiking, I'm just out here walking a local park um, that's near me. And just to get out and get some exercise because I gotta work today. So um, before I have my next client, I figured I'd get out here and get some of this sunshine and beautifulness that's out here. My channel originally started off um, all about natural hair. And so the number of subscribers that I have, while they may be over 2,000, they're not 2,000 of people that enjoy the content that I have. It's not about hair anymore. It's about exploring the world, which is why I changed the name from Natural Hairful to Akayami the Explorer. And so my hope is that anybody that's coming up on my channel, that you will subscribe and like the videos that I post if you find it interesting or if you like this kind of content. Everybody has reasons for why they hike and backpack or camp well my biggest reason for doing it is because I had a major health scare in 2018 I suffered a stroke and I was thankful that my brain was not affected permanently by the stroke thank God for that <laughs> After having that stroke, I experienced a lot of trauma and it made it more difficult for me to do things because I had the stroke while I was driving. So I refused to drive anywhere. And I stayed home most of the time because I was scared that I was gonna have another stroke. One thing it did do is make me realize that <laughs> I wasn't invincible and that although I believed that I was pretty healthy, <laughs> anything could happen. During that time, I actually started gaining a whole lot of weight because I didn't do as much movement and I didn't go too many places by myself. Mild depression creeped in. And even though I'm a mental health professional, I still did not take notice of some of the signs that was apparent. continue to work and I continue to do all of my regular daily functions so I miss the mark I would have to say that it took me a few years I say at least two and a half years to start enjoying life a little bit more next thing I know 2020 creeped in and the pandemic hit and of course we all know what happened after that because we all experienced it i started gaining weight i started drinking more alcohol 
and becoming a recluse. <laughs> but it wasn't because of one thing. It was because of multiple things. I tried several things to try to get myself back, in tra back on track. I tried keto, because that was like the first thing that I started after having that stroke. And it worked well for me starting off. Lost weight, started bike riding, started walking more. But that way of eating really did not last long. And next thing you know, I brought the weight right back on. And I believe that because of the pandemic, it was easy to bring that weight on. Why? Because I wasn't doing much of nothing, neither was anyone else. And so it was easy to fall into a rut and bad eating habits and just bad overall mental health. To make a long story shorter, let's fast forward all the way to this year. This year, because 2022 was a terrible year for me as well, but fast forward to 2023. In the beginning of the summer, no, the beginning of the year, I finally took my very first European trip out of the country and it was beautiful and it helped me to build my confidence but one other thing that I learned from being in a whole nother country is that the weight that I had picked up was wearing me out and I realized because I had to do a lot of walking that I needed to get rid of this weight and I really couldn't figure out exactly how to do it. I thought about trying keto again, but I realized I didn't really care for that way of eating. So I tried it, nothing was really helping. And not only was it not helping, I think it was causing me more problems than I realized. So, finally, in June of this year, I decided that I was going to stop drinking alcohol, cut back on the amount of meat that I was eating, and increase my vegetable and fruit intake. Now, the moment that I began doing that, I started seeing a real big difference. And that big difference motivated me more than ever. And so that helped me to realize that there's other things that food does besides fill you up and then I started running up on videos about hiking I don't even know how I started watching them but my daughter suggested that we go camping as a family and while I was there I started doing more walking and I also started thinking Huh, even though I was resistant at first, I think I might like camping. So what did I do? I started watching YouTube videos about camping. Then, next thing you know, started watching way more videos about hiking. Next thing you know, <laughs> I started watching more videos about backpacking. So here I am today exploring not just other countries, but exploring where I live. All the national parks, all the state parks, hiking trails, all there is to see right where I live. And not just where I live, but in other parts of this country. 
So y'all, <laughs> I am walking on a trail at a park that is local to where I live. And <laughs> for as long as I've lived in this area or near this area, I did not even realize exactly what it had to offer. There is so much to see. And today, <laughs> I get to see it. So, that's what happens when you start exploring where you already live, right? I didn't even know how long this trail was or where it leads to. All I knew is a path and I was just gonna walk it until I ended up somewhere. <laughs> One thing I know is within the confines of the park. So I can't get lost. <laughs> I just might not know exactly what point I should get off the trail to get back to my car. And just like that, my car is right over there. So I'm gonna end this video here so it doesn't get too long, but I hope that you will decide to stay connected with me. And in the meantime, everyone, good mental health, good spiritual health, and as always, good physical health. Y'all take great care.